Come down. Come on. Get down. All right, I'm bringing you in halfway through to the project here. I did, I've done a lot of work already. I just didn't film it, so let me catch up to speed. My name is John, and you're watching my channel here. Um, so this is the excavator. It's an EX75UR. It's about 16,000 pounds, and I've already got it jacked up. So basically, that was pretty easy. I did this while... Hold on a second. Please be quiet while I'm talking. Yeah, you go. Go away, please. So what I did was, while the machine was running, I uh, pushed the blade down, jacked it up, put these uh, two bars on here. They're kind of thin, so I doubled them up. And then I got a 6x6 six six on this side because I didn't have any more metal. Um, jacked it up on this side. And it was just barely uh, wide enough or tall enough to fit, you know, between the tracks and the bottom of the cab there. Um, so anyway, I got a lot of weight supported on the ground here. So... You know, this is probably only holding up the back half. This this counterweight is about 3,000 pounds, I think. And then, you know, I don't know how much is being held up there. But it's enough. I mean, you can see this is sagging a little bit right here. There's a lot of weight on there. It's sagging. Uh, but it's been off the ground for about three or four weeks right now. This was completely up and this wasn't attached. So I know it'll hold it. And so then once I drop the bottom down, that will be, you know, a good 3,000 pounds probably. I'm off of the machine, so it'll be fine. Okay, so this is where I am. Um, I'm just about ready to take out the last bolt right there, the last two bolts you can see, um, and that will disconnect it from the machine. But what I had to do prior to that, let me just show you, since I didn't walk you through this, I took all of these lines off here from the center joint down there. I'm leaving this uh, uh, swivel piece on here, but the center joint right down there um, it's already pushed through the hole. I took the lines off, pushed it through the hole, and I'm just going to let it hang and dangle down there um, and pull it out. And, and that'll come out when I pull the bottom part of the machine off. And I'll show you that when I get it out. But uh, that was kind of, uh, that, was, that was difficult because the, all, the, all the attachments are way down there. And, uh, and here I am, like way up here. So I had to lean down. Um, I got my three foot uh, extension bar with some crow's foot uh, wrenches and uh, did did most of that. Sometimes I had to use uh, uh, some other wrenches for different sizes and then, um, you know, and then you get a bunch of oil that drips at the same time and it's messy and nasty down there. So yeah, it took me uh, a few hours to do that, but it's done now. Okay, so uh, once I lower this, this is why I have the skid steer here. I'm gonna, just gonna slide this back um, if this was a bigger, heavier machine and I needed to roll it back, I could take these off and take out the center piece right here and then they would roll. But I think I'm just going to skid this across. The hardest part is probably going to be uh, putting it back up and lining up those bolt holes once I'm finished. So we will see when we get there. But uh, let's go ahead and take these last two bolts off and lower this down. Give you a view all the way around here this this oil is uh, just came from the center uh, joint once i took it apart is all the oil inside the center joint all right so this has uh, 24 bolts this size got two left all right so let's all right and this is the last one Last bolt. I'll tell you what, I'll put the camera here so we can watch this come down and I'll uh, slowly lower the jacks right now. One at a time, I got two jacks. This is the left one. Oh, yep, that's the left one. And here's the, here's the right one. Okay, here we go. I just want to lower it just enough to clear that. Um, uh, what do you call it? The swivel. I want to lower it just enough to clear the swivel and get the center joint out. Center joint. So maybe another inch. Okay, and why is it not coming down on the front? I think I need to pick up this blade. I might hit that, hit that right there. Might not be jacked up enough. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, I'm hitting that. 
I'm not going to have enough for her. Jack this up higher. All right, I use this nice tall jack here to jack up either side. I put a few more boards under each side, and I think I have enough clearance to pull it out now. So it's about three inches higher now. Sorry, I stepped on your toe. I didn't mean to. You're in my way. Yeah, you gotta back up. Give me some clearance. Yeah, I just gotta push that down a little bit more. But this is what I'm replacing. Uh, see, broken teeth right there. All right, I've jacked it up one more two by four leg. And that's giving me enough room. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it out about another foot or two so I can get that uh, ring gear off here. All right, I think that's really good. I can work on it, take it apart and replace it. So let me show you all the broken teeth on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a really bad spot. That's probably the front of the machine. And then more here, more here. the old one and the new one side by side they look the same size that's good ready to go back on Alright guys, I, uh, I got the holes all lined up and I got the bolts in there. It wasn't too terribly bad getting those lined up, um, you know, with these two jacks. Frankly, I think I kind of got lucky and uh, got one hole lined up and then twisted the bucket just slightly and got the rest of them lined up. So it wasn't too bad. I still got to torque those bolts, bolts down and put a few more in, but uh, I think we are back in business.
I don't know if I'm gonna pull that stump up or not. But if I don't, I'll just close the video out now. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one.